we have a like a water filtration system in this house that involves Ooh. salt big 50 pound yeah. bags of salt and i don't even like to get them it's such a pain in the ass especially north carolina's hot like nine months a year so you get sweaty loading up 50 pound bags of salt mm. into the back of the truck and stuff but walmart hasn't figured out that that's different than delivering like pasta Yep. So we're like, yeah, yeah, it takes, you know, we could use um, <laughs> like a can of soup and 300 pounds of salt. <laughs> <laughs> the Campbell's creamy mushroom and a pallet of rock salt. <laughs> Good luck in your Prius, Tony. <laughs> we went ahead. That's, what do you tip those people? What do you tip those people? I don't know. Jackie handles it. Oh, that means it's not much. <laughs> they, oh, they, that's just, they just, they did, you know, there, there's this woman struggling to stack like 300 pounds of salt on my front porch. <laughs> and the, the 400 yard <laughs> driveway with salt in there. That's so funny. You just, it's, it's so like awful. you're going in to buy condoms, like embarrassed, and you're like, a toothbrush, <laughs> uh, one apple, <laughs> and, and 10 bags of salt. I've done the same thing. But with um, <laughs> like water, dog food, or sodas, I drink, uh, like I said, an enormous amount of sodas. So I buy those 24 packs of soda, and I'll buy like five at a time. You're going to have to truck that stuff up the driveway. Or, or I was buying those, uh, those giant things of water uh, for a while, and they would hit you for a $3 fee, like a heavy package or something, inconvenient mm -hmm. package fee or something. It's like, oh, $3 as high as that fee goes, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what. I think I'll get enough water for the month. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not make two or three trips out of this. They hate it. They hate it. I watch through the peephole sometimes. Like, <laughs> yeah, load it up. <laughs> you watch it through the peephole? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. yeah, do it, water servant. Yeah. <laughs> Bring me I, my liquid. See, we've all got a little James Corden in us. Yeah. Oh, I mean, his dude, name is. I told you the other day, I actually felt really bad for that plumber who was out there fixing my leak in the yard. Mm -hmm. um it, it was nighttime and it was chilly and he was like in a mud hole up to his waist like on his knees with one of the, he didn't even have that light that goes on your head like like it's, which is exactly what he needed mm -hmm. he didn't have a headlamp he had his cell phone out there so oh, then wow. like every time he grab it it'd get all muddy to the point where like now he's trying to like get the mud off. I, I'm, I'm, I'm watching all this through the window <laughs> I'm, like, watching, I'm thinking like man you need somebody to hold a goddamn flashlight for you that would be killer <laughs> just like, see what this guy needs is help and you're just looking at him, just watching see your problem is you don't have me i'll give you helpful tips you need a second guy preferably someone who's got nothing going on <laughs> oh no me i'm a pretend pirate online i gotta go <laughs> i've got some scalawags to <laughs> some ruffians to, to, to I'm, gonna make, booty. I'm gonna make a day of it <laughs> <laughs> I bought this hat. <laughs> Yar. Uh, no, well, I don't. I don't feel bad because that's not my plumber that I hired. That's like the landlord's plumber that he hired. And uh, I, I think I made. Did I do it on PKN where I explained that they allowed a, a quarter million gallons a month yeah. to leak into my mm -hmm. front yard because they thought that they they were too cheap to get a real plumber. Taylor, what is the kind of crab that you prefer? Snow mm. crab. You're aware it's canceled, right? A billion of them gone. Yeah. How do you lose a billion of anything? I'm, I'm, I heard rumors there are at least 900 million shipped to St. Louis. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I want to point fingers. I had dozens of people tweeting that article at me. <laughs> people being like, hey, is this you? Is this you? It's like, yeah, it's me. I would, so, <laughs> I would glad, I'd glad to be the crab king. I'm really worried about what this is going to do to to poor midi deadliest catch because so we now, haven't laid this out yet really for, yeah, yeah. For the audience it, um the alaskan snow crab season has been canceled this year 90 percent, nine zero percent of the population has just missing they're not where they normally are uh, they don't know if they migrated north into colder waters if it's a climate change thing they don't know if they went to russia i personally think there's some comrade pied piper that led them all <laughs> into their own <laughs> to, to russia that's my own theory i'm just to work with me but for whatever reason 90 percent of the population has been wiped out and they canceled the fishing season this year so 
I, I don't know if snow crab come from places other than the Bering Sea. I don't know what happens to the TV show. Deadly I don't know. I mean, like if if Russia does control the global supply of crab, that's quite a bargaining chip for me. <laughs> for me. <laughs> so, oh my God, the Nord Stream crab? pipeline. Now we have real sacrifices we're making here. <laughs> Shit's getting real in my house now. Like, <laughs> wait, now this impacts me. It's not funny. So, like, well, I hope yeah, they get to the bottom sorry. of it. I hope it's not one of those things that we never hear about again. Like every two months on Reddit, there's a cure for cancer that I hear about, and then it's like, wait, wait what happened to that cure y'all had last time? Uh, so I hope that doesn't happen here. I want to. I want some follow up. Yeah, I want to know, know what happened what to these happened. crabs. Like, they, are they, they dead or did they move? move. They had to have just They're moved missing. somewhere else. They would find a billion dead crabs somewhere if they were all just uh -uh. in the normal place. I, right? I don't know how many, no. like what percentage of the population is normally wiped out by fishing season? Like, I don't know, not 90, I wouldn't guess. I, I wouldn't think 90 either. That sounds really high. But if you were to tell me, actually, they wipe out half the population. And since each crab has like 97 babies, mm -hmm. it gets replenished just fine. I'd be like, oh, okay, I didn't know. Crab, the crab give birth to live young, right? They they start out as uh, they little, do. They uh, start as as little crabs. No, they start out as as little amoeba they crabs. They must be eggs, right? They, like 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 frogs, like tadpoles, and then they grow the legs out of the. It's not the case. <laughs> 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 what? How do crabs get born? I had, to, I had to think about it for a second because I was like, I don't want to look stupid here. <laughs> I was like, no, he's wrong. He's wrong about that. There's no crab to crab poles. <laughs> That's not the case. <laughs> Taylor, where do crabs come from? Um, when a Stop mommy crab it. and a daddy crab love each other very much. <laughs> I don't crabs know. Like, That's one like of the mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> They like eggs, right? They like yeah, eggs. I thought I would have guessed the like fish. Stars. It looks like would... one of the... All right, here's my guess. I think that crab mamas like lay that big clutch of eggs somewhere, and then a crab daddy comes over and just jizzes all over them with one of those big clouds. I've seen a lot of sea life reproduce that way. Um, and uh, and then they go their separate ways. Because I just, I just can't imagine two crabs like banging. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Mud crab breeding they... IVF. Good God. Just show me them. Oh, well, this maybe is I kind can of see neat. where it would go. I can okay, see okay. Here's what happens. In some sort of baby trapping crab madness, she can hold on to that sperm for up to a year. Oh, okay. When she produces the eggs and they pass out of that out of her body, she takes the sperm from that dude and fertilizes the eggs as she extrudes them. Yeah, and that's as far as I got. I see that as an animal that does this. I, did, I was just watching something the other day. I can't remember the word, the name for it. It was a cool word for that kind of like reproduction that she had. That she can like store that sperm for so long, for like a long time. It's not like a week or a month or a year. Like a, she can hang on to that sperm until she's ready to make uh, eggs. For crabs, mm -hmm. it was a year. Um, one out of so every cool. million eggs survives to be an adult. Point zero 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 one percent of eggs become adults. Wow. That makes sense because they're just feeding progressively larger f fish and animals crabs. as they're growing up. Yeah, larger yeah, crab. Yeah, have you ever yeah. seen a crab like near its crab? Like you've seen you've seen like the crabs on the beach that are running towards the water, and like the mother crab is just sitting there like casually eating. Yeah, her it's, it's upsetting. It's real upsetting. You know what else does that? Like anything that eats their babies is is real upsetting to me. Like like hamsters will do that. Cats they, do that. Um. Um. Um, hedgehogs do that too, because I, I know like I don't know if cats um, do, but they, I bet they do. I don't think cats do that, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a, <laughs> I was I wasn't going to dispute it, but I certainly wasn't co-signing. <laughs> um, no, I was glad I slipped up past the goalie. <laughs> 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 yeah, they'll they'll eat their young, but I've seen um, those those spiders mm -hmm. that'll like be like, oh yeah, let me grab one. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. I'm glad I got you guys up there to keep me yeah. well fed. <laughs> Yeah, I have to so eat wings. It's part of my routine. Are you terrible? Do you bowl with the hook? You know, like does it? Curve? What does that you, mean? As opposed to going straight down the center and aiming to the center pin, or do you like? Is he putting spin on it, or is oh, he curling the ball? Like a curve ball. No, when I do it, I try to aim slightly to the right of the center pin because I had line. someone tell me that, and I try and go totally straight. I don't even. I, I prioritize going straight over like the the speed, the muscle of it. You might what I do be for like the first round. I do the same thing, but I aim for the middle, knowing that it's very likely I'll hit one of those two sweet spots yeah. on, on either side of it. If I hey, aim I for the side, like a, you know, I could gutter ball. Who, you may have just I do like the straight thing. 
<laughs> and then like usually after like a few drinks and like by the second or third game, I'm like, let's do a silly one. And that's when I start <laughs> doing the dumb shit where you like kind of like there was this one guy and the the team I didn't get on the the team with people my age mm-hmm. where he would like mm-hmm. wouldn't even he put like one or two fingers in and he'd have his thumb out and he would just like wrap it back and like spin it in a way where it almost looks like it's about to go in the gutter. But then it, it fucking hits up. You get a strike. And Man. I I tried that. <laughs> It doesn't work out as well as a uh, Chaz. Can can you put some him. wild spin on it now, though? Are you kind of like a pub stomper of bowling where something happens, a girlfriend, a friend well, of yours has a birthday there, and you're like, time to shine? Oh, I bring it. If I bring a date to the bowling alley, there's no mercy. Like, I'm like, well, you're about to get shit on. And um, I don't <laughs> shit on. Usually by like after the first game, if you don't bowl out, your fingers are like kind of tender. So then you start fucking up because of that. And that's usually what happens. Like, I'm like, OK, I kind of get. I kind of got my stride back, and then my fingers yeah. are sore, and I start. That's what they it say. The you got to look out for soreness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the bolt? Like, what? Start getting bolt? fatigued. Usually, like a one fifty, so not not anything okay. too good. But right, right. That's but that's better than consistently mediocre. Bowl. Is my motto. Yeah. Yeah. If I dirty hit one fifty, I'm like, wow, luck, <laughs> total yeah. luck. That's what Colin we'll play bowls. my numbers. But who bowls? My son, Colin. He. Is he uh, into it? I bet he goes bowling like three times a month. He and his oh, friend damn. go there. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's more bowling in a month than I've ever done, dude. So, yep. I don't know how to. We pay his friend. Lose? <laughs> 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 no, no, just oh. to be a friend. <laughs> and uh, they do the coolest shit, man. They go out, they play disc golf, they go bowling, they go to like. Uh, Frankie's fun house won't mean anything to you, but it's like go-karting and mini golf and mm-hmm. shit like that. And uh, you are <laughs> what a great dad. What he is. Is yeah. that a good dad or is that a bad dad? I'm not He's sure. He's a good father. <laughs> but, uh, but I, I'm like, oh, this guy's got a cool job. Like we, we just, how much money do you think you need? We, you know, pay him whatever he needs. And they just go out and fucking rock go-karts all afternoon. And, Kyle's uh, about to cry over what a sweet, loving, fatherly thing that is that you do. <laughs> um, Woody, t- number one father in in the comments. Number one. Dad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Collins, uh, he's gotten a little better at bowling and does his thing. You he's, said he gets uh, like one fifty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were a Vaseline family, not a Windows yeah. family. What would you use my the Vaseline was, yeah. for? My, my mom used it for taking makeup off. And hmm. so we just had a giant tub of it in the bathroom. And then I, of course, would use it for science. Yeah. Lighting Q-tips on fire. Oh, I thought that, that's were, about it. I <laughs> thought you meant jacking it. off. <laughs> you can't masturbate with Vaseline. Oh, my God. Try. What a, what a Dude, slow. When you're, when you're 12, jerk. you're just when you're, when you're 12, 12 you're, just, you're just trying stuff, man. You can put some muscle jerky with you're like, Vaseline. That's too viscous. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's nothing too or not viscous enough when you're 12 and you're experimenting with new things to jack off with yeah don't you think about that a lot yeah oh yeah you go take some of your mom's nice expensive lotion jack off with that and then, <laughs> and then the rest of the day you're just walking jar, around you're the just size walking. of a bottle cap and it costs 130 dollars yeah then off. you're walking around with your like hands and dick smelling like like lilac for the rest oh, of the day you, what's you, that smell this was like my lotion oh no, shut up mom my you think that's 10 bad years younger and i'm 12 i can't get yeah. my makeup off there's no vaseline i thought yeah. i grabbed lotion but i grabbed that fucking Sunday and lotion with the bronzer, and now my hand and my cock are as black as coal. <laughs> this doesn't wash off yeah, in three days. It looks like an, an Emmy, or whatever the gold one is. I'll never <laughs> go back. Shining. <laughs> yeah, what did you jack off with as a kid, mm. everyone? That's dry. Um, that wasn't on lotion. the topic list. When, but you weren't, was... when you guys weren't going dry, what were you doing? You need it. N- never dry, because that's weird um lotion um some sort of but not uh like any sort of fragranced lotion because that'll burn that thin watery lady shit you need a good like vaseline intensive care lotion that's so it so it doesn't like dissipate on you mid jerk i don't want to be going back for more you know what i mean that's fair that's fair you need something with sticking power staying power yeah, yeah. you don't want to be enjoying yourself and then ah oh, oh my goodness mm-hmm. now i got to get up and Fucking um, crab walk to the bathroom. <laughs> but if, if anybody out there wants a wants a if, if you can't afford wet platinum, which is the finest of of silicone masturbatory and sexual lubricants, um, coconut oil is like cheap, healthy, good for you. I don't think it messes up most vaginas. Uh, it's it's a good lubricant yeah. that you can you can. 
and it like stays at room temperature. It's solid. So you kind of reach in the jar and scrape some off the top and like, Oh, I don't like that. that's, that's the part I like about cooking oil the least. Oh, yeah. I like it. It reminds me of that soap from high school that was a powder that you had to get going first. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like the extra layer of, of work. Yeah, I don't that, that have powdered to melt. stuff around the oh. shop sink. I don't want to have to melt the lube so, down, but I guess twelve-year-old me I wasn't right. worried about like what it would do to a vagina. I, I, that wasn't that was <laughs> at the bottom of my priority list. Oh, and yeah. also, I didn't have access to wet platinum uh, as a twelve-year-old boy. Yeah, so you were you were using just. My mom wasn't using that to wipe her makeup off, so I didn't have any in the house. Yeah, you were Terrible just using tons of Vaseline. Every time your mom opened the Vaseline can, there were like four fingers. In just, a big, just, just one big hole right mark on the one, side. Just one, one small quarter-sized hole right down <laughs> <Yeah>. the middle. <laughs> oh, quarter. You're being generous with the quarter. Yeah, there's, there's like four big finger scoops and then just a pube. <laughs> oh, I got a son that double dips. He's got endurance. He's got he's, he must have been going for a while and then he came Correct back for the case. more. <laughs> Nancy Drew in the case of the Vaseline pube. What's <laughs> being found? Boxcar children mystery. Uh, yeah, I would I would use I would either dry it, which was never as good, or whatever lotion was about. And I remember they're just kind of being lotion around in every bathroom mm -hmm. most bathrooms yeah. like as a kid and so it yeah, really wasn't my family yeah it wasn't a huge deal to find it i remember when i was like 11 i was jacking off in the shower and at that time of my life shampoo that was the only <laughs> thing slick enough in the shower to be jacking off with it? And so I, I all I had I, I was probably I was using probably ten and one. <laughs> ten and one. Yeah. And it's still, unfortunately, no, it's Rogaine. Good on you dishes. Got, yeah. You grabbed the Rogaine instead though, and just, <laughs> just grew a thicket all over my shaft. Yeah. I uh I remember like having a good go of it from probably like most of eleven my eleventh year and thinking in my head, like, I got this down pat, take a shower crank one off with the shampoo and then somehow it got like really frothed up and on maybe the downstroke i got a good deal of uh -oh. shampoo in my penis hole and mm. it was the first time that it ever happened and i was like ah, ah, and like had a little mini freak out realized what it was and, and have nev never went back never went back i'm on a mm. 20 year streak i guess now of not <laughs> jacking off with shampoo because i got scarred by by like because i remember it pee it hurt it burned to like pee the next pee after that and i was like oh fuck hope this goes away and it did like the next pee so don't I, do that folks. Don't jack never off never used off in the shower ever i used to what? take the longest fucking showers they were, i didn't get out until we ran out of hot water and i could i my whole family i'm convinced was convinced that I was jacking off in there, but I wasn't. Oh, for sure. They'd be outside the door, like, "What's he doing in there?" As if that. But it, I think I'm not jacking off. I'm just depressed. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of sit down showers. Yeah, yeah. maybe if oh, I yeah. hit puberty, I wouldn't be so depressed. But here I am. <laughs> we don't like hair. Maybe I like in the shower. Come. And it's sad. No like hair. <laughs> Damn. Were you crying in the shower? <laughs> no, just sad. It was warm, and no one bothered me. Damn, man. Yeah, when I was doing that, I was jacking off. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking a lot, like, all right, post, post hockey practice, post whatever's going on. Big. <laughs> did you big have a shower? Did you have a bedroom to yourself, or do you share? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I had. Yeah, I had the um, fourth floor to my house. Like it was oh. all mine. I I don't know. That's I guess sweet. I was just like imagining you said like going to the shower to find a safe place feels like one of those eight brothers and sisters kind of uh, like no. solutions mm -hmm. i had like my own living room and couch and stuff uh across the like no one else used that floor of the house sounds excellent oh, <laughs> wow that that's fancy i didn't feel, feel it, I, maybe i'm describing it as a little more fancy than it really was like it, it, it wasn't a new home or anything but it was a lot of space and privacy what about you chris did you have siblings you had to hide your jack off uh behavior from no we did it together all right, no. the first one done gets the controller for. <laughs> I, don't even I, want again, I win again. I win again. <laughs> no, it was. You're also three years younger than me, and you can't do it. But um, no, I had, I had like the whole basement. Like we had like a sort of finished basement, so I had the whole basement to myself. I had kind of like the same thing with like a couch and a TV and shit. And mm -hmm. so I had, I had the run of the basement, and no bathroom down there though. So. uh you didn't need I it. Didn't. You had the whole basement. 
the world was anywhere yours. I wanted. Yeah. Laundry mm-hmm. room, tool room, anywhere I wanted. Um, but yeah, so I didn't really have any issues sharing. That's but, good. Did so? Did you guys like you, you know the old uh, 4chan post of the the cum shoebox? Oh, the guy just came in the sh- same shoebox for like six years, and it started. Yeah, it was like that Simpsons episode, Lisa's Tooth, where a little society developed. They started advancing <laughs> in technology. I never actually knew anyone in real life that had a story like that. I never knew it, or at least not any, anyone that told me. And I know I never like kept. Like I never had a place where I like came on. You know what I mean? Did you guys There's usually other warning anyone? signs to a person? No, I would get to that. I would come in a towel and then wash it. Yeah, I'd, like, I'd, I'd I wanted to destroy the evidence right away. I just mm. you know get in the laundry right away, you know. But I would come in a towel or something. I would, right I would away. Get, You're so hoity toity. I had a hand towel. I don't want to lay it around get, getting smelly. Get too crusty, and I'd be like, "This is actually starting to hurt. I need to swap this thing out with a fresh one." <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like like you throw it in the hamper and in your like child oh, mind it's like now no one who picks up that towel will have any <laughs> idea that it's not just a towel I used to dry the shampoo off myself. It's a like solid <laughs> hard shape of a yeah. towel. <laughs> it's like starched up. You drop it and it shatters. <laughs> yeah. You drop it and it's the shape of my dick like yeah. a ghost. <laughs> and there's one really stained. Did someone do a, a wash with bleach? <laughs> there's a weird discoloration mm. on this one on, on Woody. The towel that says Woody on the tag. <laughs> It's like when you throw shoes in the washer and you could hear it bouncing around inside. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Did you ever, like, you you were having to hide from your sister and your parents, Kyle, but you were just coming right in the towel and then right in, or in, in toilet paper, something like that, something for, for immediate toilet paper doesn't. I, don't, I, 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 I just don't see how toilet paper gets the job done. Or tissue? When I ever, would you come in a tissue? How many tissues do, is it going to take? to Let them out that your parents notice. I, I, I promise you, if I use if I use tissues to deal with my ejaculate, then then I would run out of tissues long before I ran out of ejaculate. Okay, like I come a lot. I take lock and load. Okay, you do. it's the premium mm-hmm. cremium come in handy <laughs> formula, and I, I, it would take so many puffs that, that, that I couldn't afford. It. I couldn't afford. Yeah. It, frankly, I I I it run me out of household. Um, it, it just. Oh, if I got so sick, that, like if I got sick and my mom was like, and I was home from school, I'm like 12 years old or whatever, and she brought me like a box of puffs or Kleenex or whatever to blow my nose, I'd had like maybe blow my nose once, get through, <laughs> get through the whole box of puffs in my three day, uh, my three day sick three period. Days. If I was sick for three days, it was, and she was out running errands. You're 12. It's like I'm going to, I'm jacking Aren't off. There like I know that room fucking reeks. <laughs> well, you don't, but you don't get. It's not a movie. It's not like you can clean up your load with one tissue. Kyle's correct about that. I think he's a little hoity-toity with it, but <laughs> I, you know, you need a lot of tissues to get everything totally cleaned up. And then sometimes you ball all those cummy tissues together. You need a couple other barrier tissues around the ball of tissues so that it's not so obvious what you've done. I don't get cum on my hand. You don't want to get cum on your hand. And then at your what, and then what do you do 23 minutes later when you're feverishly horny again <laughs> because you're 12 <laughs> years old? You go, Just, well, I bet I can finalize another one of these before mom gets back from paper Panera. mache you keep making layers onto the same ball of tissue. <laughs> yeah, you just keep doing that. You paper mache it. Make a little it just sounds like it. a Mail Monday episode. I hate <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we figured took a 13 year break off of it and now we're storming back into Mail Monday jack off discussions. <laughs> Dude, I am so oh, sick right now. I haven't told anyone. But like what do you so have? sneezing in the runny nose, which AIDS pick up. AIDS. Yesterday morning. I got up Nobody's like, got AIDS before I normally do. It was like six AM or something. I was like, all right, I have to pee because I had ginger ale, felt a little nauseous. I'm peeing and I'm so fucking dizzy. I'm like losing it. I'm putting my hand on like the window. And as you know, like the, you can't like stop this task. Once you start peeing, yeah, you, you got to be committed. You got to make it to the end. And I'm like, fuck, I just need to like finish what I'm doing and get back in bed. And if I can lay down in bed, I can weather through anything. Sure. Mm. Didn't go like that. I, I finished peeing and wrapped up, I guess. And then I'm just confused. I don't know what the fuck is happening. And I don't know who's hitting me, but I'm being hit. 
And then I gather while I'm still in it, I'm having a seizure on the bathroom floor. Oh my God. And my head's banging against the wall and I'm kind of collapsed and I'm not breathing. And I'm like aware that this is happening, but I don't have like any counter. Like, I don't know. I'm just fucking experiencing it in confusion. I feel the hitting on my head and like, uh, you know, like if you do like one of these things, you can't breathe, you know? Yeah. That's my situation. I'm like curled up in a ball and not breathing, but I'm banging my head and such. Mm-hmm. And uh, like on I the wake, bathroom tile. Yeah, yeah, next to the toilet. Like I, I wrapped up. I didn't pee everywhere or anything, but yeah. I, I, I come to and I'm next to the toilet on the bathroom tile, just having finished my seizure. And I'm like, fuck, that, that's not ideal. So I get into bed and. What? Uh, <laughs> well- what do you yeah. mean get into bed? <laughs> I stand up, I pick myself up, I dust myself off, and I and I like you know touch all the walls on the way to the bed and everything. You got health insurance? What are you thinking? <laughs> so I lay back down, Jeez. and uh, there's like a it, it's like a I don't know how it happened, but I think during the fall I hit my cheek or something because I feel like I've been punched in the cheekbone. When did this happen? A few days yesterday ago? morning. Yesterday morning. It doesn't show and, anything on your face. It's true, though. <laughs> yeah, no, I believe yeah. it. It's not bad. Yeah. And uh, Taylor, he's making it up. I do not think he's making it up. <laughs> yeah. So I, I managed to get back to sleep. And all day yesterday, I was kind of a wreck. Like I just laid around. I slept in a recliner type of day. Jeez. And uh, and today, I'm I was more in spirits, but uh, like and I mean to say, I was more spirited. Like I was in a good mood. Whereas yesterday, I was like wiped out. But um, anytime I tried doing something. Five minutes in, I'm like, fuck yeah. this, I'm tired. And so oh you definitely God. need to go um get a brain scan, but but I would also nah, want to get your house. It. I'm fine. He's I would fine, also Kyle, get your you house, you need yeah, what to am get I, your house tested for like radon. <laughs> you need to get tested for like radon or carbon monoxide or something like that. Like it's a possibility that like maybe you we're in an area where like you got gassed or something, you know? Like like I would want to know why I've had a seizure that one time from the concussion when I had that wreck. And it's exactly like that. You you know you're hitting yourself, but there's nothing you can do about it. In my case, I was going uh, like the oh. whole time. It's awful okay. to be out of control of your body. I know exactly. You, you described it, and I was like, yeah, that's it. It's awful. Oof. You gotta go somewhere. That's brain trauma, or or like exposure to some sort of some, some sort of gas or something. If it was gas, that could he be a, would that could be, be many dead. strokes or something. That could be very serious. It could be something that's happening right now. That's getting mm-hmm. worse. I, that, that 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 like we could arrest. They might say, "Oh, look, you've got a little thing here that we need to go and like up through your thrombosis or whatever in your armpit and fucking like." Or it could be then... a whole bunch of nothing. His brain quit working and he fell to the floor. It was either Jesus or a medical issue. We should go to our doctor, Woody. Kyle, I've never nah, had a seizure, Kyle, but I'm going to steal valor and say I have. You're kind of being a fine. bitch. <laughs> Yeah, what he showed that bathroom floor who was boss, and then he I got did. up and then he got in bed. Yeah, I got up. I was fine. The floor was cracked. All right. <laughs> I mean, I would be so scared if I had a seizure. Thank God I've never had to deal with that. Like, is it? How did? I know you guys have both had multiple of them, right? I had, I had one when I was like ten, eight, and I was sucking down helium balloons while sick. Okay, well, that one that's like. Yeah, we know the cause. Yeah, you know. The I cause hit my there. skull on asphalt going real fast, and and my brain was resetting itself over and over. Yeah, you blue screened. Yes. You were... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Reset. That kernel panic. So you haven't had anything like this, Woody, in forty years. Forty years. Yeah, that's true. And it just came out of nowhere, mm-hmm. or you felt weird leading up to it all day, other than no, the sickness. I I knew I was dizzy when I was like walking towards the bathroom and obviously I knew it was while I was peeing, it was like, I just had to get through this somehow. You know, I just had to like, I can't wait to get back in bed. Didn't realize I'd be delayed. Could it be like, like, like what is, isn't lightheadedness? Like when you stand up and you feel lightheaded, is that like your blood pressure getting too low all of a sudden, or is it that getting is too high all thing. of a sudden low? Right. I thought it was low. Like you're like, now I'm wondering if either could cause it. I'm not sure. I don't know. I think like high blood pressure causes like pain in the head, mm. right? Like hyper, like a hypertension headache. I've, I've heard about that. No. But damn, that's scary. I would be so spooked if that happened to me. 
I'm less of a man than you because I would be like, <laughs> I'd be, I'd be too afraid to go to the doctor, but I'd be Googling nonstop. And Google of course would tell me like, you're dying. Prepare. No, uh, I, I, here's it, a, an ad for a will. Google tells me exactly <laughs> what I just said. Like, like with my made up nonsense, it's that it could be, a, it could be some things that are not a big deal. And it'd be some very serious things, but in any case, you should got to get a hold on it. Like, like, like we know now, let like, me like, follow like, up on that. Pish posh. You're fine. If it keeps happening. <laughs> if it keeps happening, yeah. But I mean, one, one and done? Ah, exactly. How about this? Good. If I have one seizure, I will You might seizure, be having miniature strokes caused by... There may be brain... The, the blood might be cut off. Uh, if I was having brain trouble, I wouldn't have this memory that I do. No, and, and uh, miniature strokes wouldn't cause that. No, like you wouldn't pass out and have a seizure. If you're having mini strokes, you would have weakness on your left side, right? Numbness. You would have facial drooping on the left side. Okay, but but you know, it could be it could be a lot of scary things. I just googled. I mean, or it could be nothing. <laughs> I don't I go through the I list, it but good. it was a scary list. I Woody, I'm not. A, I don't, or Kyle, I don't want to scare our friend. <laughs> I looked through a list he of seizures, calling and I, I chose tonic as the one that seemed to fit me the most, and uh, it was no big deal. Let me ask you something, Tate. If you've had a brain injury, are you capable you of deciding whether you should inform a doctor? No, so, so, but I, I don't am. know if he can get. Can he give consent anymore? I think he can. Ah, uh, there's a standing consent. Yeah, with him and anyone around him. <laughs> <laughs> there's the rule: just blanket consent <laughs> going forward. Yes. If you're fit there's enough to catch me, you're fit, fit enough to fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> rules are rules. Like, like, like. Yeah. No, standing consent, I do offer standing yeah, consent. Yeah, of course he does. I mean, yeah. Are you Come really on. honestly freaking out about him having a little tumble in the bathroom where he yeah. forgot where he was? Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Baby Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Somehow this is a big deal to Kyle. I forgot where I was and I couldn't control my body in my bathroom. Wow. <laughs> Bitch made. <laughs> Dude, I think it's like... What do you mind? No, in all seriousness, or... it sounds pretty dire. <laughs> like, like, Not like, really. Like, I'm, I was doing that too. Taylor, we're time. recording this. This is forever. So maybe, uh, <laughs> you know, put yeah. If I yeah. die, it's everybody's problem but mine. And if oh, Woody no. dies, I'm going to say it was unrelated. <laughs> you know, if Woody dies all of a sudden, I'm going to go on Twitter and be like, was he vaxxed? <laughs> that's, 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 that's what it. I'm going to do. Woody, how many boosters have you had? Two. Oh my God! No, nah, he's it's Kyle. Too he's too, long. He's too it boosted. Took way too long. He's too boosted. <laughs> I'm too. Kyle, boosted. you're not boosted, are you? Fuck no! I got the. Thank I God. Just got the one. Thank God. You got two. Well, I got. I, think. The, I got the vaccine. Never, but no boosters. Mm. See, that's the reason I could never have sex with you guys. I know. I'm pure blood. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Would I be more pure blood if I had Taylor's semen in my ass? No. It couldn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth testing. Yeah, I, I'm trying to put myself in the, the headspace of having a seizure. And I always thought a nice part about the seizure, weird to say a nice part about it, but like that you, I didn't think that you were there at all, that you were oh, just kind of like, shaking. And then after the whole thing concludes, you're like, oh my God, that was horrible. But to know that you're in it and thinking my face is grating on the gravel the way you said, or Woody's like my head's banging on the tile, that is unbelievably scary. Like you have to, in the moment, part of you has to be think. Are, do you have the cognition to be like, my this will end? Or like, like this is, is he I'm okay? Dying. Oh, wait, why is my head getting hit? Oh, it's me. That's like yeah. the evolution that I went through. My, That's so bizarre. My sole thought was, damn it, I'm scratching my face on the asphalt. Like, like I, I can't tell how badly. I got a date tonight. Yeah, was, I mean, yeah, you, know, you did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember the lore. Yeah. Yeah, was but was it, was it, was the threat of what was happening to you guys almost muted in the moment where, like, it didn't? There's no, I didn't have any thoughts beyond what's happening right now in this microcosm of a moment in which my body is out of my control and I'm very afraid and i remember screaming like it more of a like a uh, but it's mm. like interrupted by because uh, 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 i'm struggling for breath it's hard yeah. to breathe because i guess i've lost 
I don't Everything's know seizing. seizing. I don't not, know what a seizure yeah. is, but to me, it just seems like um, uncontrolled muscle impulse throughout my body, rapid firing, almost like you're being tased. So I can't operate my diaphragm to fucking breathe. And I probably yeah. had the breath knocked out of me from the crash anyway. I remember, um, wow. again, it's sort of an unreliable memory, but what I think I remember is maybe kind of snoring. And of course, Ooh. there's the like, why am I getting hit? Oh, shit, I'm having a seizure. That's what that's what I keep hitting. I'm shaking. And then it was like, if I don't breathe soon, this will get serious. Like I had that thought. Yeah, well, after, after I think it's you like really need to go um, for a checkup. I think I, I think I think you really need to go for a diagnostic checkup. Let Man. it slide. It's fine. Yeah. But like yeah. when you guys were doing that, like what well, happens out. when you're flying or on your bike? Uh, I wouldn't launch if I was that dizzy. I was just. What if you become dizzy? Yeah, he wouldn't up in the air. He's yeah, flying. I, he's having I, a good time. I would be he's more doing acrobatics. <laughs> he just while he's barrel rolling, he might actually be that occurred normal to me. dizziness. I was like, what if this happens dizziness. when I'm doing acrobatics <laughs> over the lake? And I'm like, well, I guess I just land where I land, and the boat hopefully is there for me. No, you die. No, based. <laughs> that's, 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 I, whatever happens, happens. I love that. Just, yeah, well, then I guess I'll fall in the lake and drown. <laughs> yeah, life is, preserver will go. After, after it's done and you finish seizing and all that, in the period like that you go back to normal, does your mind feel the same? Is it like you snap back? Or is it like like waking from a dream that you it takes a bit to be like, oh my God, that just happened? Yeah, I was processing what happened and it was kind of a, uh, all right, like we have to get back in bed. Like I have a mission to accomplish. Yeah. I need to get onto my feet. Jackie's in bed, I suppose, bed. waiting on yeah, you. Yeah, she doesn't know. Of course not. Um, <laughs> yeah, That's just, what we know. do. Mesh, <laughs> mesh, mesh. <laughs> and she'll never know. <laughs> She's going to uh, find out soon. <laughs> Kyle's going to. Not she doesn't watch the show. She doesn't, watch, she doesn't know. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, but someone should. God damn, dude. I'm worried. Um, He's fine. Yeah, yeah. So I, I sort of came to, and I was like, all right, well, that's that's behind me now. I have to get into bed, and I want to go back to sleep and improve. Oh, my God. That sounds horrible. Having a seizure sounds like a two thumbs down, awful experience. Yeah, one out of ten. And if you had, you haven't had any since then, right, Kyle? I know you've had panic attacks where you fall out. Or yeah, that's a whole other thing. Out. That's like a, your flight, fight, flight response is miswired. Yeah, what is that experience fuck? like? Could you walk through it? Yeah. Um, so there's like levels to it. Mm -hmm. Um it's it's usually triggered by I, I, one of them was a fight with my dad when I was maybe 18, 19. I was moving out and we're having this big fight about just money and the and, and just all it's sorts verbal, of verbal, though. Yes. Oh, yeah. Nothing physical. But 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 we're yelling and uh, and and he's like, well, just fucking go. He's like kicking me out of the house and he might have said something mean. And I'm, I'm like, I'm going anywhere. You're not kicking me out. I'm leaving. Don't act like you're kicking me out when I'm and, and anyway, he said something mean or something. And I could feel like. Um, it's just, it's a little bit like, um, when you stand up too fast and you start mm -hmm. getting that gray out where every, where your vision comes down to like a toilet paper roll. Um, and that, that's part of it, but there's also another part that's absolute terror because, and, and you, and you can't breathe, you can't catch your breath. You're almost hyperventilating and a tight, and a countdown for me has begun that I can only arrest with cold water to my face. If I can do that, that's a literal shock to my system. Everything, we're good now. It just, I need that because I don't know about you, but I hate having cold water thrown on my fucking yeah. face. It, right. it, it completely like, it snaps mm -hmm. my brain back into the real world. Mm -hmm. But my brain thinks we're dying in this moment. Like it, a bully did it once. I stood up to a bully and I, I was like, I thought we we're going to, I was like, all right, well, this is the part where he beats the shit out of me. Here it comes. Mm -hmm. But fucking do it. Fucking do it. And he didn't do it. But I'm in and that then mode. I pounded him. And no, no. <laughs> then I went to the bathroom and had diarrhea while while I almost passed out. <laughs> like, because I'm a brave boy who stands up to bullies. <laughs> that boy's gonna think twice. <laughs> no, I will if I knew that literally. one on the car in the cards. <laughs> yeah, literally that. Um, but but in that, um, if it goes too much, usually if I'm alone, um, or uh, I'll 
I'll lose consciousness if I can't get that water in my face and I'll completely collapse to the floor. Now that I'm older and it's happened enough and I know that it's coming, I'm if I'm if a sink is close enough, I'm going for that. But if there's a bed or a couch nearby, I will quickly like lay down because that's we're just that's it's the easiest way to it's do it. It's yeah. terrifying to be Woody's been choked out before. It's a little scary at one point because you're leaving the world. There's that scariness to having a panic attack too because I know I'm leaving for a while. Um, I'm going full out unconscious. I'm going to wake up and not know how this happened. I fell on asphalt before, just like fell over and woke up with like skint elbow and like my head sore. And it's like, fuck. When's the last nobody, time? You, nobody you, saw that. Yeah, when's when, the when last happened. time you dealt with one of these, like as an adult? Um, two years ago, um, uh, I got a text message from a loved one that was, it made it seem like someone I loved had cancer, but they didn't. Um, and it, it was, if somebody, they're showing me somebody else's t- test results and it's like, fucking preface this shit before you send me all this horrible it's like paperwork that says i'm dying and it's like Mm -hmm. from a loved one so i start having this panic attack and uh, my rowing machine was in an awkward place in my living room and so i I had been stepping over every day and i needed to make that step to get to the sink but i couldn't physically raise my leg up high enough to get over it and i tumbled over it backwards and hit my head backwards on the uh the, the hardwood and when i woke up my 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 legs were up in the air on the rowing machine and i'm laying there on the floor just going fuck <laughs> if you fall really awkwardly when you have no control it's like being yeah. dazed so elbows and knees all the stuff that you normally don't You're allow to, up. Yeah. you hit the you hit the pointy hard shit right where you do, and the back of my head just eats shit on the floor so now i've got like a little concussion type thing on top sure. of the other thing. So, you know, that was the last time, about two years, two, two, two and a half years ago. I was at two houses ago. Yeah. I'm You're curious. on a good streak then. When you woke up, because I've, I've been choked out a couple of times, I wake up so embarrassed. And it it's not even embarrassing. Like if you're training, this happens, right? No big deal. I've been choked out intentionally. Like, all right, I'm going to sit in a chair and this guy who's really good at rear naked chokes is going to put one on and I'm going to go to sleep. And then I wake up everybody's looking at me everyone seems to know what's going on except me and that registers in my mind is super embarrassing yeah yeah well it's 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 because you don't have later on you realize well that's not that embarrassing we were all in on the joke but in that moment your brain doesn't have the prior not just the prior 12 seconds when you're out it doesn't have the last day maybe to play with it no you know you're you you know who these people are to some I, extent. I forgot what you was. forgot that you agreed to be choked out. You don't know why is everybody looking? You just boom. It's like coming out of a dead sleep mm-hmm. and there's people there and you didn't expect them to be there. Even if they're your friends, it's like, what the fuck are you doing in my room? Well, uh, there's a moment of terror. <laughs> yeah, that, that yeah. sounds uh, harrowing. I, I would not. I mean, it's I'm easy not to do. Of that. Oh, come on. You've never done it? I've never had You've a big pass out. out. No, I've never so been choked, choked unconscious. Out. No. You should do it. It's uh, it's a little painful. Um, like like you Why gotta squeeze do? somebody hard because it's um, I don't know. It's an interesting thing to experience so that you're ever in a self defense scenario. You kind of recognize when you've got someone out, so you don't kill them, maybe. But also so that you're not as afraid of that technique. Once you understand what it is, it's almost like getting pepper sprayed yourself before you That's start. That's true. I spend a lot around. of time day to day in fear of techniques. <laughs> if you're, I mean, if you got a if you got a rumble with somebody in your in your billiard room one night, um, I promise your rear naked choke is your 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 go to unless you get the stick out. You get the hockey stick, go, start, uh, start spinning it like blade. <laughs> I'm gonna go gun mode. No, you got you <laughs> right still away. have your you still yeah. have your goalie gear. No, the guns are take the guns out of the, out of there because it's not that's not funny. You get you still have your goalie gear. <laughs> I. <laughs> I like have all of it. I have so many hockey sticks downstairs. I my pads are all gone, but oh, I have. I need you Actually, in I still, full. I still have pads, my glove and my blocker. My, I have my glove and my blocker and my pad or my sticks downstairs. The pads got rotted out and ruined after sitting in the garage for like thirteen years. We used to do this thing in high school where you sit at your desk. Um, if I remember correctly, I think someone sits behind you or in front of you. No, no, no. I know what it is. All right, you stand up, put your back against the wall, and someone presses on your you hyperventilate and then the person in front of you presses on your chest like where your lungs are to squeeze all the air out of your lungs and you immediately go unconscious that was a game we used to play all the time oh what Just a terrible game out. we can't even win no hmm. you knock each other unconscious we like, used to do that very same game quickly. except you 
put your hands on their is it the jugular carotid one of those yeah you know? it'd be, yeah the they're, they're like the same one's the blood vessel and one's like the blood um whatever they're, they're the same artery thing. versus vein i think uh, they're, you can be here. the uh you can be the first person to choke me unconscious next time we're together physically if you play age of empires 2 with me uh no deal <laughs> oh, fuck. how about um, this how about trade deal tented hands i play rust with you you play aoe with me look at the tented hands this is a deal oh. <laughs> i don't give a shit what they're doing on the back end that's good chicken and they're doing i and don't you know care what? I, I every time i show up everybody's nice everybody's friendly so fucking nice so what and good looking that? Yeah, how do they hire like all upper class white kids at every Chick Fil A <laughs> I've ever been to? They're wearing khakis. They must up be the there. ones applying. Some of these boys are clearly named Noah. <laughs> it looks like Sunday school. <laughs> yes, yes, it's like a su- you nailed it. That's such you a fucking it. funny way to say that, Woody. That's yes. <laughs> They've got I love going Noah. There. Some guy named Noah takes my order. <laughs> Let me describe Noah. Let me describe Noah. Noah could lose ten pounds. He's wearing khakis. He has a blue, a light blue button up shirt tucked in. He has a clipboard in one hand. He has blonde hair. It's a little, it's a little long, but he's a big smile on his face, and he's happy to see you. Welcome to Chick Fil A, motherfucker. How can I help you? Oh yeah, it is a wonderful blessed day, isn't it? And he's got your. Oh yeah. Oh, when's your order gonna get here? It's already here. Look in your passenger seat. That's how fast I know it works. <laughs> click, 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 See you later, sir. Guess it's again. Done. You're already eating. <laughs> <laughs> Look in the back seat. You've been eating the whole time. <laughs> like, Noah's is. They're amazing at Chick Fil A. I, I feel bad. They for those blow the pants off of everybody it. else's uh, customer service. They well, do, the and pants they off. need it too. Like their drive-through needs to be more efficient. They have to be handling people deeper in the line yeah. because they, their line's that long. Yeah. It's a madhouse. It's the only fast food place that every time you drive by, even near a meal time, it's around the block. It's like you I can't feel- get into grocery stores in the same lot because the the tail is so. Long. I order breakfast from there a lot because you can get their. Um, they have like this scrambled egg bowl that has grilled chicken, cheese, huh? and um, scrambled eggs. So I eat that for eight, two of those for breakfast. A I don't lot. think I've had their breakfast. This sounds good. It's really fucking good. Um, I do grilled chicken instead of the chicken nuggets because chicken nuggets for breakfast didn't make any sense. And I don't, I'm sausage does, doesn't. Well, leave the judgment lifestyle. at home. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really good though. Um, but I feel kind of bad. Like when I, when I go to tip them, I, I if I, I, I'm like, ah, what kind of tip do you give for somebody who has to go sit in a, in a morning Chick fil A line? Uh, nah, I won't tip. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I get it annoyed with those uh delivery services because now they've added like um an extra three dollars if, if you want it brought right to you. It's like even though I've signed up for the most expensive version of the app and everything, they're they're still hitting me for that extra three dollars. Like, hey, do you want your food actually brought straight to you? Well, yeah, I really want to, right? that. Oh, then, like many then they stuff. might stop yeah. at somebody else's house who's it's kind like of on the way third on the line or whatever. Yeah. So they're mm. like trucking my grilled chicken sandwich around to three fucking houses while the tomato leaks into the yeah. bread. You know? <laughs> I see. Or, or I was like, like breakfast shows up cold. Like I misunderstood. I thought they were leaving it at like the bottom of your driveway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, <three dollars> or <laughs> no, I leave it on the road side. Up here or you're not getting any tip. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, little... I had that once I ordered. I ordered something at night. And a girl was doing the delivery and she was like, I'm at the end of the driveway. And at this point, I've got a kind of a long driveway and it's steep as fuck. Good luck on the last leg of the journey, ma'am. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like, all right. And she's like, could you come get the food? I'm like, motherfucker. First of all, you're not getting any tip, lady. Because if you're so scared to do your job that you can't do your job, then you can't do your job. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you a it tip, which out. is like a bonus. Tips are a bonus, okay? It's it's a job well done. And I'm not going to give you a job well done tip when it's a job not done. And when you stayed at my fucking mailbox and made me hustle out here for the food. So I'll smile. I'll say, yeah, I understand. Have a good night. That but I'm taking bitch. your tip away. And I'm reporting you because your you car doesn't ask her for stay. a tip. I'm officer. Yeah, I'm, yeah, reporting I'm, here immediately. Sus- I'm reporting a suspected rapist. And I, <laughs> I'm not a fucking Karen or uh, anything. Food but, rapist. I'm not a fucking <laughs> Karen or anything, but I don't like that. Um, here's what happens every time I order groceries, though. And I don't say a damn thing. They smell like weed every fucking time. My and they're wrong. It's like, dude, you've got my groceries wrong every 
time for like six weeks straight and they always smell like marijuana like i can smell it i know i smell those bags and i'm like marijuana yep. <laughs> yeah i know what's happening here yeah and but but instacart is so cool they're as good as Am- amazon I'll, I'll take a picture of what showed up and i'm like this is what showed up this is what i ordered make it right and they're like cash or credit <laughs> they don't give a fuck do, do you want us to just reorder it for you yeah and it'll come back wrong again and i'll be like boop, 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 boop. After a while, I've got, I have filled a cupboard halfway up with groceries that weren't supposed to come here. It's like tomato sauce and ketchups mm-hmm. and stuff. Stuff yeah. I don't eat sometimes. I have to give away to like the, 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 the food we got bank that. thing. Maybe we're not on top of it. You know what we do get? Like, do you know how much I realized later in life that the amount a kid likes dodgeball in school is almost directly related to how early they hit puberty and got big? Because... Mm-hmm. When I would hear people complain, like, dodgeball sucks, even back in, like, grade school, I'm like, what are you talking about? Dodgeball is the most fun day there is because you just get to heave it at whoever you want. Like, I love dodgeball. The gym teacher said it was dodgeball day. I was ecstatic. Dodgeball and um, um, I'm spacing out. What's volleyball? I love Mm. volleyball. Me and my boy, John Scott. I was as tall as I am. John Scott. John Scott was six foot four, six foot five, and he was a state level pole vaulter. He was the man. So, he was the mm-hmm. man. so we took volleyball very seriously. We're on the front line, and I could set that man up so well. And he would get a girl got a bloody nose one day, and it was like, books, tone it down. Because <laughs> <laughs> we were the, he was smart like me. And he took, you have to take one semester of gym. We wait till our senior year. Wait till our senior year. <laughs> We're towering over these one freshmen. One semester of gym? <laughs> you had to take one. There was one that was like required to even graduate high school. One semester of gym. Yeah. I think you could take more, but what we would take is either weightlifting or um, track. And there was like other more advanced. It was like gym 2.0, basically. That we was more four years. Shit, oh, dude. damn. The way that our gym class worked, um, you would – so freshmen just run. They don't choose what they do. And then once you become a sophomore, you start choosing what you do, and you're all excited, like, yeah, fuck yeah. I'm going to do archery and bowling and golf and, like, all the cool shit. And uh, so first cool. of all, they did it alphabetically. So I'm, like, the lowest grade as a Woodworth and I'm like, fucking jazzercise? <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> and I had like aerobics, jazzercise, and like swimming or something. Ah, uh, gym walk. sucks. I'm just in the shot where you have to get vaccinated over and over again. <laughs> 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 it was the worst. But 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 then on the second day of choosing things, they reversed the alphabet. So I did a little better, but I was still a sophomore. By the time I was a senior, I was like, I'm going to choose an entire year's worth of gym subjects that don't require sweating. And I didn't sweat my whole year. I did. I intend. We have to. I had between you guys. I didn't have to do every year gym in high school, but I didn't have just one. We had to do like two semesters of gym, the entire time. And I, I saved my gyms and my study halls for senior year to make it as easy is. as possible. Study hall is just where you go in and you have like a free period where there's some like a uh, proctor who makes sure that you are studying. Nope, never, never had. But what like it really that. was, is I, remember, I saved it for senior year because if you're a senior, you don't have to show up for study hall. So I would schedule it first class of the day, and then I could come in like 50 minutes late. Or if I was yeah. carpooling kids, which I, I think, often I had to we, do, I could just chill for like an hour before we I replaced study hall with agriculture classes, I suppose, so, so that we could get our cat fi- cat far- catfish farming and our your whole our high pig. school didn't have study hall. I. I That's only weird. know what I only know the term study hall from movies and television shows. Um, and, no, and I genuinely mm. didn't quite understand the concept of it until just now. Yeah, I had like all two classes day. of study hall a day, and it was basically what? just detention during the day. You would have to, you'd sit there, you're supposed to be studying, but I was such a horrible student. I almost protested, and I would sit there bored 45 minutes a day, twice a day, not working. So, how many classes did you have per day in high school? It was tricky because there were like, 12 or 13 periods but some of them were doubles the Weird. answer is about oh okay eight. so our classes were either one hour and a half or 45 minutes yeah we had block scheduling too so you either had four classes a day or you could have 
electives i think maybe were, were 45 minutes or something again it's 25 fucking years or some shit but so it's i don't really remember how i spent those days i was just kind of head forward trying not to snap um but <laughs> it's not worth it <laughs> i hate this i'm gonna shoot guns online <laughs> <laughs> close um but but i think they were hour and a half long classes and there were four a day but there was no like all right go in this room and don't do anything there was just another class for sure there was mm. you know no we ours were super complicated sure. there's so many fights at my school that they fucked up the whole schedule thing so the classes were like 13 minutes long but you had like six minutes to walk from one class to the next. What so, the fuck? yeah, well, the thing is the classes would be two periods. So 13 plus 13 is like 26. And then you add like the time that not that you're not walking. And what can you you're... accomplish in 26 minutes, though? Well, it would work out. I, I must Nothing. have the times wrong because it would work out to about 40 minutes that you had okay. to, to learn. Yeah, I and think I, like it I was said, a way like, of getting lunch to be like lunch was like eight minutes. Plus the six minutes on either side you had to walk there. What? Half so an you hour would, for like, sure. Run to lunch, wolf it down, run to your next class, and try not to be late. It sounds like you were spread so thin, like not learning anything about twelve different things. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, because ours I was just like, being like there an hour and a half at a time, and then you That's had like long. alternating schedules. So it'd be like, oh, Monday I have uh, calculus, uh, history and whatever other two classes and then tuesday would be a totally different lineup of also hour oh, and a half yeah. classes it would, and it would then wednesday class. would be back to monday and then I'm thursday getting stressed would be thinking else. about that yeah. schedule this is one of my main nightmares by the way is is not remit i'm in high school and i don't know my schedule this is a reoccurring nightmare that oh, i have oh my god and, and, i have and, a and similar a, one i will be in blast. i'm i'm in dr renfro's fucking biology class and I'm sitting there, and I just realized that I don't even have biology on my fucking schedule. None of the, what I've learned here is even. Yeah, it's a year. I'm a year behind or something in this class. Next year, maybe will I be in here? But I'm there's a math class that I haven't taken a moment of. There, there's a, and I'm in there. There's scantrons being passed out, and I'm just, what is going? And it's just this complete meltdown. And the more questions I ask from the authority figures and the children around me, the deeper it goes. Like, oh, yeah. you don't. Need, well, what about your language arts? I've never seen you in language arts. You you don't need to be that. What language arts class? I, I don't know what I've been doing the whole year. I don't have, I don't have, <laughs> I don't have that memory anymore. But what I, what's important is I have missed out on many classes, and today is judgment fucking day. <laughs> Dude, I have the same thing. And you're not ready. It, it, it manifests gonna send you to basically hell. is I didn't realize I had this class all semester. Now we're like three quarters of the way through the semester, and I'm hopelessly behind. And it's going to have ramifications that cause me to like redo a year or something like that. The, but how crazy school must be fucking traumatizing. It is. If we're all into our like thirties and in some cases failure, because that failure <laughs> still is still having still thinking yeah, about like thirties like us. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, I'll get that too. Where I'll just like, early thirties like us. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> actually, I'm 29. I'll be 30 next May. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I can't wait till I can buy beer legally at the store. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really cool. I mean, dude, nice I remember you. You were talking about missing or like being in the wrong class, and you gave me like a brain blast back to genuinely day one of my high school. Day one, I went into a class that I thought I was supposed to be in. And I was sitting in there and there's a bunch of people and it was like mixed class, obviously. So like upperclassmen are in there. It's not just me and I or not just freshmen rather. And they go through the roll call and everything and it gets to the end and they didn't call me. And so I'm like sitting not in the very front, but like second row and the door is way behind. And so then she was like, all right, if I didn't call your name, you're in the wrong class. So head to where you're supposed Ooh. to be. And I had to get up. I had to I had to get up in like in front of all the this is day one of high school. You're establishing a rep. And and I had to stand up because I was in the wrong class and grab my book bag and shove stuff back in there and then yeah, leave. Man. And the upperclassmen were all laughing at me and, and the teacher giggled at me. 
And I remember oh. thinking, oh, the teacher laughed at me you too. Shit yourself then? Like, this is awful. And then this I went awful. and put my pants <laughs> on. You just like, you just ran as fast as you could. We were put back, like your jam sports. Back was swinging. <laughs> and I cried in the bathroom. No, I, I got out of there and I walked out. And I remember like, leaving the door to like the sound of people like giggling at me and like closing the door behind me in a now empty hallway no one's in there and i have to find my new class and just closing it and thinking like what this couldn't have gone worse for you taylor yeah. like without pooping your pants or doing something really embarrassing like everyone now is going to see you and think there's that retard who didn't know what class you're supposed to be and obviously didn't end up being a big deal but that was very embarrassing at the time being in the yeah, wrong class that's, that's why um i always say sopranos is the best show at depicting dreams realistically or, or the way they feel because tony has this dream where um uh, he's, he's he's talking to his coach uh, from high school his, and, and the coach is giving getting on to him because he's unprepared and he is unprepared and the bullets that he's trying to use to shoot him are melting into chocolate into his fingers and in my dreams guns like if i need to shoot a monster or something like that i can't pull the trigger no matter how hard and i'll I'll even get both of my trigger fingers into the trigger guard and i'm using all of my might and sometimes i'll even put it on my knee and i'm like pulling against mine it's like you know you do everything yeah. you're trying to open a pickle jar like i'm do anything i can all to get a little leverage. more to pull that and i can't and if i do even if it does move it won't fire it, it, it's it's that dream of being unprepared and i remember uh after tony has those dreams he's on the phone with carmella and he and he's he's like, i had that dream again she's the one with your couch yeah you were unprepared yeah and it's like that's the dream being unprepared was hammered into you from such an early age is like because the show stops the teacher goes whoa what do you mean you don't have your project everybody's got it but you everybody's on you everybody's looking Whoa. at you why don't you have it couldn't you afford a marker board or are you just too stupid maybe his parents aren't very good at their job <laughs> that was Let's such all a judge terrible him feeling thoroughly right now it's like don't ever let that happen again don't ever let that happen oh. again. <laughs> <laughs> and it's in you in here and your dreams your mind is saying yeah relax relax get your rest but are you fucking prepared are you Dude, fucking prepared when, when you wake when I was playing a shit ton of hockey in high school, I would have bad dreams that I like let in a goal that I shouldn't have. And it would be that same kind of like fighting, running, shooting in your, in your example where like I would, I couldn't move my glove fast enough to stop it. And it would be like in the bad dream, it'd be like, I hadn't made a single save yet. And we were like down. When I'm five. trying to, when I'm trying to run quickly in a dream, um, my legs are like not. I'm un very uncoordinated, mm -hmm. and so I will, if I'm in a hallway or in a in a home or something where there's walls, I will pull the uh, like myself along the wall to try to get extra speed. And I talked to my dad about this. He said he told me that I'm and, and I like answered it. He started saying that, and I finished his sentence for him. I'm, I'm like, pull yourself along the wall. He's like, yes, I'm trying to get away, but my legs are so uncoordinated and i'm 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 like in this i'm like in a bath of caramel standing up almost mm -hmm. and so i'm just pulling myself trying to get faster down the wall to get away from whatever's chasing me those are the dreams i have like, like the nightmares i have because i'm always being chased you know and something some monsters after me as a kid it was marvin harry from home alone as an adult it's often some you had nightmares about marvin harry i watched you understand like we talked last week about was there an age you know like cap on what media you watch no never no r-rated movies were on tv like my dad like was big in my dad well not <laughs> home alone but like like terminator we like, lost in new york yeah like 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 <laughs> Term, i had a dream i was like, lost in new york and trump told me where to go i was four and then a scary burglar four. grabbed the handles of the sink and got shocked into a skeleton <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember when joe pesci grabs macaulay culkin and hangs him from from a door thing like a, a coat hanger yeah and he's dangling there and they're talking about biting he's like give me those little fingers they're gonna bite his fingers off and they're trying to make him he's 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 put his fist his, his uh hands are in fist so that joe pesci can't bite his fingers off and they're literally trying to they're about to kill this child and then the old man comes in with the shovel and shaves the day so i dreamed joe pesci was gonna bite my little four-year-old <laughs> fingers off 
I guess You're that right. was more grim than I remember. In my memory, McCulloch Culkin <laughs> was more competent than he really was. Thank you.